Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the 7th video in the 0 to a million FIFA 19 trading guide. And this is going to be a video covering a trading method. Now, this has been a trading method I've been using since 13-14. Uh, since now, I'll be completely honest with you, I've used it less and less as the years have gone on because I, I always prefer trading with small players. But it is a working trading method this year and strangely it's a method I actually did a lot when they uh, had the World Cups uh, players this year. So again, this worked really, really well back in the years, even when there weren't price ranges. I remember I got myself like a Neuer, flipped a million coins on Neuer, flipped a few hundred K on a team of season company. I think that was again back in FIFA 14. It was such a good method. And again, this method is called the 1-2-3 method. So the 1-2-3 uh, basically is a ratio that you follow. And the first part of it is the minimum bid. The second part, second part of it is the maximum bid. And the third part is the minimum buy now. So an example of this, um, probably the most common one you'd see, unless people have a lot of coins, is going to be 10k minimum bid, 20k max bid, 30k buy now, minimum buy now. Uh, so what this is, is you are searching for players with a bid between 10 to 20k, but a buy now above 30k, which means that, quote unquote, should be at least 10k profit. Again, a massive thing on this is going to be people trying to catch you out, a little bit like how I list up players for lazy buyers. Someone might have a trash BPL in form, let's say they get... I don't know. Let's say there is a trash in form and there's Hodrolbreg. I don't really know what his name is. The uh, Danish guy from Southampton. Let's say he's only going for 12k off the bat. Well, someone might try and listen for like an 18k bid and a 35k buy now. I'm trying to catch someone out on a lazy buyer. So you don't just want to straight up bidding. You want to be using Footbin. Footbin, from my knowledge, is the most updated tool when it comes to um, when it comes to finding players' prices and such. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd fully uh, fully recommend that. I mean, I know Footwiz and Foothead have been trying to do something, but I'm, I say I'm not not too... Uh, obviously, I use Footbin a lot. So what you want to do is first, when you identify a player, you want to then go with the Footbin. You want to go type their name in, very, very simple, and see what their price is. So, again, we'll say, for example, you're looking at a Inform Neon, okay? And there's one on bid for 15k. You head over Footbin, cheapest one on the market, 25k. But... You look back one, two days, and he was only going for 13, 14k. Now, it might be that these, you know, that he's just randomly spiked. It might be that someone's trying to price fix him. If they have had a massive spike, it's, it's safer, you know, it's safer just to avoid that card, you know. I'd leave him and move on. Because when you're looking for bids, you're looking, okay, have they been 25k for the last, have they been 25k for the last week, two weeks or such? If they have, brilliant, because they're, again, they're a 15k bid, they are worth 25. So you probably want to bid up to about 20. 22, 21k on that sort of card. I mean, 22 is probably the max I'd pay because you're not going to make too much money off of that. And uh, I think, because of course you've got the 5% tax, plus you've got to remember it might take a little bit of time for the card to sell on. So, uh, so yeah, we're basically going to be 20% under what the card's going for. So again, 25k, 20% of that is 5k. So you'd want to be 20k or under and you're getting yourself a good deal. And again, you just want to keep scrolling along, trying to find these cards. Now, one thing I will say at the beginning of FIFA, this is actually going to be kind of harder to do because there's gonna be a there's gonna be a lack of special cards and you're probably gonna find a lot of gold rares on this and again because there's so much demand for gold rares it's gonna be quite hard to get deals because people are gonna be mass bidding on these cards left right and center as such but uh you know you, as I say, you still might find some car uh might find might still might find some good deals so when you start building your coins up you can actually increase this ratio you can increase it by whatever you want as long as it's in a one to two to three ratio i mean you can even play around with this ratio because you know you're not you're not strictly obliging to a contract that you have to do that. So, again, you might want to go, I don't know, 15k, here's my maths right here, 15k bid, 30k buy now, and then 45k, sorry, 30, 15k minimum bid, 30k max bid, 45k minimum buy now. Just so you look at more expensive players, and then, hey, when you get enough coins, maybe you want to go 200k minimum bid, 400k maximum bid, 600k minimum buy now, therefore you're looking maybe for icons, you're looking, actually I don't know if icons fit under that, but you're looking for uh, more expensive special cards, again you can just add that a little bit more if you want to look for maybe budget icons such, so there's a, there is a lot you can do with this, now when you are bidding there is a few strategies you can use to maybe increase your chance, I mean it's, it's all here so if you're actually going to increase your chance, there's three methods, one is, uh, one is just big balls in it, you know. Basically, bidding the max you're willing to pay because then you're not fuffing around. Then you're not spending five minutes trying to win a, win a card. You're like, okay, there's the Neon. He's only going for 15. I'm just going to bid 20k. Hey, if someone wants to pay more for them, they can, but I'm not really too interested in that. And another reason why this works very well is because there are market suspensions in FIFA. Now, this is one thing I I, I hope I could have an influence in helping, helping change because it is, as someone who trades, wants to trade for like 8, 12, 15 hours a day. It kills me, man. It kills me because you could get market suspended in six hours. Now, I fully understand why they do market suspensions because I've, um, you know, I've seen the the backside of a lot of uh, dodgy stuff that happens in FIFA, 
And this is the reason it does market suspensions is because of bots. So if you guys don't know, FIFA, um, as long as the web app is up, and even when the console is up, um, auto buys are going to be a thing. Because auto buys run off of the web app, they so they get like a validated Xbox account, uh, and then they just run hundreds and hundreds of, um, I don't know, hundreds and such, but they run a lot of auto buys because you don't have to have the web app open. You literally have to give in like your login details. So as I say, it's a dodgy thing, but... As long as the web app is up, there's going to be auto buys, and that's actually why they took the web app down. I believe FIFA 13, 14 times is because of probably auto buys, and it's like it just wasn't worth having the web app up as such. So again, what they need to do for this is they need to have these. I'm I'm fully down for them having market suspensions, but I would like such a hard authenticator problem, a uh, like authenticator that because if you guys don't know, from what I've been told, I've I've been told that bots can just get into bots can very easily do some of these simple authenticators. Is what I've been told. You know, don't don't quote me on it. So, um, so what I'd like them to do is, I'd like them to have the market suspension, but I'd like them to have an authentication. Now, I don't know what this would be. Is it maybe do something on a skill game? Is it, you know, like something just so hard and maybe something so random? Maybe, as I say, maybe it is a skill game. Maybe it is uh, just just something very, very hard to prove that you are not a bot. So, um, and then we can always be unsuspended because there is actually an authenticator. The one we have pressed like L, B, R, B, maybe B, up, down, left, right, center, you know. But that, you know, I say that one doesn't stop you being market suspended. It literally just allows you back on the console, you know. So it doesn't, like, reset a market suspension as such. So, um, so yeah, that's why using the big balls bidding works. Because if you're, you're minimising the amount of bids you're putting on, the less you're authenticating it, the less you'll, I guess, represent being like a boss as such or look like you're being a bot. So if you only bid 100 times rather than 1,000 times, if you bid 1,000 times in an hour, you're looking a lot more like a bot than if you're only bidding 100 times uh, to get the cards and again the reason you'd be doing lots of bids is because maybe you'd be putting a bid on and then another bid and then another bid and then another bid and so on and so on but moving on to that is uh, is exactly what I was talking about the last second bidding so no everyone has all the time in the world and uh, some people you know have a have a short patience so let's say there is a Cristiano Ronaldo on the market and um, let's say he's going for like 500k he actually sells them they have a 900k and you're just bidding 1k at a time you're waiting for that 30 seconds one bid I'd say wait for there to be five seconds left, put a bid on. Five seconds, put a bid on. And it's just going to be so, so slow that people might not have half an hour to bid on these cards. Now, they might get restless and just throw everything on, or they might just jump off, you know. Maybe they've got to go out for food and such. They want it to be a good deal, uh, but they just can't wait for it and such. So, another one is literally annoying the living day lads of the person you're trying to outbid on. And that is just going last second bidding, last second bidding, and last second bidding. Now, the last one is a lot better if you're on the web app, because you can do it a lot easier on the web app. And that is spam bidding, to rep basically replicate there being lots of different people. Because if you're bidding against one guy, and there's one guy, rather than if you're bidding, there's one guy, and then instantly there's a bid higher, you're probably going to presume there's more than two people bidding. So you can replicate this literally by just going bid, bid. You know, again, a lot easier to do on the web app, because you can literally just... And then you can literally just spam bids for like a minute. Now, one thing you want to make sure is make sure they don't like bid 100k and you, you accidentally bid and then no, it's not a deal anymore. But um, but yeah, that is the last word I'd say you can do is just spam bidding. So, this is going to be it. Again, I'd say it works a lot, lot better with special cards than gold cards because special cards are demanded a lot more than... Uh, sorry, they're not demanded as much as gold cards. Therefore, there's less competition as such and you should be able to win them easily. Uh, again, the later on FIFA, the better this one works. So, is it good to have this one in the starting train guide? Who knows? Um, but yeah, so this is going to be wrapping up the 1, 2, 3 trading method. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it helped you out. Make sure to drop a like if, um, I don't know, if you want. You know, helps out the channel. Subscribe because you're going to get daily uh, trading videos. And uh, I'd almost guarantee you, I hope you'll be able to make a good bit of the, uh, the old dinero as such. Um, you can follow the Twitter because you know, I tweet when these videos are live and when I'm live streaming. I'll be live streaming in 12 to 14 hours. Come on, run about the 15th. So uh, make sure to check out the Twitch. And uh, yeah, down below there is a written version of this trading guide with all the videos, um, all the video like links and all that lot, and of course like a written version. So everything I speak, more likely than not, will have a written version on a Google Docs, and you can translate into I don't know, Azerbaijan or wherever, wherever you're from, as such. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Not quite sure what the video is going to be tomorrow, but um, but yeah, see ya.